Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. What is up? Today we are going to be talking about the Naked Palette from Urban Decay. So, you know, the Urban Decay palette is super expensive, but I'm going to show you today how to make a cheaper version all on your own. It is way more affordable and also way more fun to make. I mean, it's a DIY. So if you're interested, then just keep on watching this video. Also, don't forget to drop a like if you enjoyed this video. So let's just get right on. I purchased some little eyeshadow palettes from Wet n Wild because they are super affordable but they're still really good quality and I really like them like they're super blendable and super buttery and yeah. So the first pot we're going to be using is Comfort Zone. We have eight eyeshadows in here but we're only going to be using four that are a really nice duplicate. Then the others we are not going to be using the eyeshadow itself but we're going to be using the pan of it. So I also wrote the names that I'm going to be using and like scribbled the ones through that I won't be using. The next palette that you are going to need is the Naked Truth. We're only going to be using one shade from here but it is a exact duplicate so I highly recommend you get this palette then we also have don't steal my thunder which we're going to be using creep and gunmetal then the next palette is walking on eggshells I highly recommend this even if you're not going to be making the palette there are three gorgeous shades and then we have two separate little eyeshadows that I purchased one of them is called nutty and the other one I'm not sure anymore I think it's like brulee or something I'll put the link down below by the way um, so to, in order to get the eyeshadows out of the palette, I'm taking a fire lighter here. This can get a little dangerous. I mean, if you're a little younger, then I highly recommend adult supervision or doing this outside because of the fumes, but it's gonna basically heat up the glue and you're gonna be able to take a X-Acto knife, stick it underneath the eyeshadow and it should pop out immediately. So that is how you're going to wanna pop out all of the eyeshadows out of all the palettes. If you're gonna use the color or not, just pop them all out. Once you've got all the eyeshadows out of their original packaging, this is how it should look like. This row right here on the box is perfect. We're not gonna be disturbing those anymore. But here on the left side, those are the eyeshadows that we're gonna be using. And the ones on the right side, we're gonna be using the pan. We're not gonna need the eyeshadow itself. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is take a little cup and take the eyeshadows that you don't need, like we just need the pan. And you're just gonna wanna scrape out all of the eyeshadow that is inside. Um, this can be a little bit wasteful if you think about it, but I mean I kept it for like future videos So yeah, then you're gonna want to take the eyeshadows that you are gonna need and you're gonna add in a little bit of Rubbing alcohol just a few drops will be enough then stir it up and then add a little more drops because if you add too much It will not be good. Basically, you're looking for a pasty consistency. That's kind of like dough I guess you could describe it then I'm gonna take one of the clean eyeshadow pans where we have cleaned before and removed the eyeshadow. And then with my popsicle stick, I'm just packing all of this clay eyeshadow consistency into the pan as good as I can. And then I'm just gonna be taking a wipe and I'm kind of pressing it down nicely and then wiping off the edges, you know, the excess that we did not need. And after that, you're gonna wanna take a cotton pad and you're gonna wanna squish it together as good as possible to get out all the rubbing alcohol that is there. Otherwise, your eyeshadows will like not be eyeshadowy, if that makes sense. Squish out as much as possible and then just set it aside to dry and the alcohol will evaporate and it should be just like normal eyeshadow again. Now, while the eyeshadows are evaporating, we are going to be making the actual naked palette. We're going to start off with a thick piece of cardboard and then I took my ruler and started to draw a rectangle. You're gonna kinda have to decide for yourself how big you want it. You can measure the eyeshadows, make sure they all fit in. Also, make sure to add a little edge everywhere. So you're gonna need two rectangles like this and a little slim rectangle in the middle for the width. Then we're going to be taking our X-Acto knife and just carefully scoring those two lines there. You're not gonna cut them through, you're just gonna score them. And then you're gonna kind of fold the palette in half and kind of make sure it gets used to folding open and closed. Then we're gonna be covering it in this velour brown fabric that I got from the fabric store. So I'm just gonna be gluing this on with hot glue, although later I realized that wasn't such a good idea because the hot glue hardened and it gave like, you could see the pattern that I put the glue on the cardboard through the fabric. So I don't know, it just didn't turn out so well. So I might recommend using some kind of fabric glue and just waiting longer for it to dry. I was a bit impatient, that's why I used the hot glue, but oh well. Um, then you're gonna wanna make sure that you can bend the palette still, otherwise that wouldn't be good. Then also you're gonna take some scissors and start cutting out the corners by the fabric, like every cardboard corner, you remove a fabric corner, if that makes sense. 
and then you can cut off the edges a little bit so that it is a bit tinier and that way we can fold over the edges later and have a nice seamless edge. So as you can see I'm just taking some hot glue and drawing a line and then I'm folding over the fabric and kind of stretching it to make sure it is nice and tight and looks kind of professional I guess. And then you're going to want to do that around all of the edges. Also one side I left longer. Um, you don't have to do this. I was actually thinking of leaving it like that but you don't have to. Then I took a piece of paper, held it up to my computer screen and cut out the naked logo. And now I'm holding it onto this gold adhesive that I have. And then I am just cutting out the letters again out of gold. Make sure to hold this onto the gold side, not onto the paper back side. Otherwise your letters are gonna be mirrored and then you cannot read them and it'll just be really weird. So trust me and don't do it. Um, since these are kind of like stickers now, you can peel off the backing. And then I started to stick this onto the inside of the palette. Somehow my camera didn't film this, but I also cut out a piece of brown cardboard and glued this into the inside as well. So it's not anything too complicated. I also started off with the K in the center to make sure that the whole lettering was centered. I recommend that you do that too. Now I didn't have a good mirror that I could glue into my palette, so I had this silvery cardboard that I used instead and just glued it in, because I mostly don't even use the mirror that is inside a palette, I just use the mirror on my vanity, so I just kind of glued it in for show, but if you have a nice mirror that would fit perfectly, then I'd recommend you should do that because, I don't know, it's great to have a mirror in your palette. Now I cut out the same lettering in bigger format for the outside of the palette. Again, these are stickers so I just stuck them on. Because this is like a velour fabric, you're going to have to kind of massage it in nicer to make sure that it sticks. Once you've done that, it sticks really well. I can't even peel mine off anymore so it will hold, trust me. Then I have some foam board here and I cut it into these thicker and thinner stripes and then I just held it onto the palette and kind of cut it to the length that we needed. So I have these two wider stripes for the top and bottom and then for the side I have this thinner stripe and then I'm just cutting it. And then you're gonna wanna take some acrylic paint in brown but you could use any color that you want. And then I just started to paint all of the foam pieces brown. Then I grabbed my trusty hot glue gun and started to apply some glue to the back of the foam board and then I glued it in to the naked palette. Also make sure that you can still fold it up and that the foam isn't too thick. So you're gonna glue in the two top and bottom thicker parts and then the two side parts as well. Now you're pretty much done with the palette and you can just take your eyeshadows and make sure they are in the right collection order, whatever you call that. And then I just took my hot glue gun and started to hot glue them all in. Then I took my paint marker and started to write down the names below. I used the same names as the Naked palette. You could of course give them your own name if you like. Um, I actually want to do this with my gold paint marker, but it didn't show up on the dark brown. Also, my camera didn't film this, but there's a magnet that I built in, so that dot there that you see, I just carved some out of the foam board and then I glued in the magnet. And for the top, I just peeled away the cardboard a bit and hid that underneath. Once you've done all those steps, you're pretty much done with your naked palette. This is how it looks like. I hope you enjoyed this video today and that it is helpful. It is definitely cheaper than if you would spend like $60 on the original naked palette. So if you are curious and you still don't know if you wanna make your own or purchase the real thing, I own the real one and I of course made this fake one. So my next video is going to be on comparing these two palettes and seeing how good the eyeshadows are, if they're really duplicates here, you know, if, if the packaging good, you know, does it really compare to itself? And if you don't wanna miss that video, then please subscribe because otherwise you probably will miss it. But anyway, also drop a like on this video and comment down below what other makeup or makeup palettes you would like to see me recreate here on the channel. So I love you guys so much and I'll talk to you in my next video. Goodbye.